Hey guys, I have no makeup on today and my hair's wet because I am a very, very busy person. And so I thought I'd squeeze this little thing in because I had a conversation, I guess we'll say weekly, with a person on the internet in somebody's comment section about whether or not hairdressers should ask for consent to touch a client. So being a hairdresser myself and seeing that this video has popped up in social media, I feel like that I should at least comment on this a little bit because I mean it is it is a funny conversation. So without further ado, we'll have a look at this clip. So right over here you can see that i've gotten some little snippets of the conversation i had in a youtuber's i guess comment section <laughs> in this little debate it seems like a lot of people are really offended by this video that's on the other other you know left right right on the screen left for me but yeah Let's watch this horrendous video. Okay, if I touch you. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, if I touch you. Go right ahead. Before we get started, do you mind if I touch you? I also gonna cut my fucking hair. Do you mind if I touch you? Are you serious, bro? Just cut my hair. Okay, so um, first of all, um, with that first part, the do you mind if I touch you, I do that as a hairdresser. I actually do that because I was trained that way. So. I've always worked in higher end salons and we've always been taught like to make the client feel the consultation and because like we want them to be comfortable so we can be like hey um are you okay if I touch you like I'll, I'll be like hey how are you doing how's your hair feeling and then, and I'll be sitting down and start talking them through their hair issue, whatever they would like to have done to their hair. But then when I stand up, I'll say, do you mind if I touch you? As like a term of, do you mind if I proceed? You know, are you ready for me to start having a look at what the situation is? Because uh, I feel like, although I'm in control, it makes a client feel more comfortable so it's really funny that a lot of people are having a problem because almost every hair salon that i've worked at has actually told us to do that we're taught that in school um it is a normal industry standard so i found it really really entertaining that they're saying do you mind if i touch you now from my understanding this person's a barber and they've got a certain aesthetic I, I guess, but we'll continue <laughs> to see if I'm like, oh, okay. Cool if I touch you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. It's usually just customary that I ask the person before I touch them. Just cut it, cuz. And what were your pronouns? Uh, she, they. She, they, too. Yay! Look at us. We're <laughs> twins. Yeah. Now, I have never asked somebody their pronouns. I'm usually like, hey, um, do you have a nickname you prefer or do you like say i've got somebody called tiffany right but they are used to tiff so i'll say hey do you have a nickname that you prefer or would you prefer for me to call you your full name i'll do that but never have i thought what are your pronouns i feel like that usually people would tell me if they prefer to be called something different but I've actually never had that situation in my entire career and I've been in and out of salons since 2009 so I think that that's sort of not a common occurrence enough to warrant that to be in part of my consultation but this person may have that certain kind of demographic especially looking at their style they may have that certain kind of clientele where they've had to adapt that. So not anything bad, but I don't think that it's something that I have ever thought to do. 
she, her. And what are your pronouns? Are you fucking serious, bro? Just cut my hair. What are your pronouns? They now, also, just to add, there is a salon for everyone. I personally think that, I personally believe there is a salon for everyone. And I've recently had conversations with people where we were watching one of those um, stereotypical ghetto salons you know, the the crazy ones that you see on the American TV shows, like Bravo-based shows and all that. So we had this conversation about like how that salon looks like a lot of fun because it has a certain dynamic. And then my salon is a bit more like tightly strung because it has a certain dynamic. And I think that what is really, really interesting is we have all different clients, right? And I believe that there's a salon for everyone. My salon may not be for that girl that's sitting in her chair. My clients may not be for that stylist. I, I think that you attract your clientele that fits you. And this is, this is something that I find interesting as well. And there, there's certainly a lot of people who care about pronouns. So I don't have any issues with this person using it but there's certainly a lot of people out there that don't care about it and they feel like it's fluffy and they're just wanting to get on with it there's different personality types so this uh, stylist may attract a certain personality type that guy clearly has a clientele that is just like just get on with it i don't really care about all the bougie stuff i don't care about all the fluffiness so yeah they them. She they. I'm yes. glad we exchanged those. Yes. And what are your pronouns? Listen, bro, I don't do that shit. Bro, don't fucking touch me. Don't. I'm out of here. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, that's what I mean. Like, there's, there's, there's certain clientele for everybody. There's certain clientele that will want to have, um, I guess, like, they want to have, like, this experience and they want this nurturing and they want this catering to their personality and then there's the clientele who are just like i need this to be as quick as possible i need this to be straight to the point i need this done yesterday so i mean you've got two extremes and obviously two different businesses i don't really feel like um either is wrong i feel like Again, there's a client for every stylist and there's a salon for every client. But yeah, without further ado, I guess that's that. Um, I hope I explained that a bit better than in these comments because I feel like that there are a lot of situations where my stylists, like my clients, like I've had, I've had really bizarre clients like really really bizarre clients <laughs> like for instance i've had like celebrities um when i was working in south melbourne i used to get celebrities a lot at my salon um my my salon chain does have celebrities too then there's your politicians like i like <laughs> you know um a little bit of tea here little bit of tea there is a certain politician that used to always love that i remembered that they liked green tea <laughs> so that's the tea but anyway i guess that's that i just wanted to quickly um discuss this because i feel like that's a very very interesting conversation and i don't really feel like we should be cutting down stylists for like who are not actually doing any harm because like i i understand the political movement online where you're like this is too much and all that but that stylist seems like she was keeping in her own box and keeping everything like all together and all that kind of stuff she doesn't look like she was going out and attacking people she was just showing her craft and showing how she consults and comforts a client and i don't think there's anything wrong with that maybe i'm not looking deep enough into it but she seemed to not be doing anything too bad like she seemed to be not 
going out there and personally attacking people, not protesting, and not causing any harm. So I feel like, like, why are we attacking this person online? It's just, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes the internet is just draining. Anyway, I guess I'll leave it at that. So if you want to add to the conversation, I'd also love it if you guys comment down below and we can discuss how you guys feel about your hairdressers and asking you this question.